Hiya folks, we're back on the lawnmower trail. This time, one of his subscribers has given him two lawnmowers. So I went along for the ride. Plus I've also sold my other one, that uh, Mountfield SP470, that's now gone. So we're back on it. Let's see what he's got in here. They give it to him. Right, so we've just been around to pick up these two lawnmowers. They're old Suffolk punches, I think, but um, the bloke said that they was runners and uh, he's not had them working for a year or so. So let's see what he's got here. Couple of uh, Suffolk punches, S35 S's, aren't they? By the looks of it. They don't look in too bad condition. Let's get these out, hold on. Right, ready? They're both exactly the same. Uh, go on, I'll let you get in there. Why have a dog and bark yourself, folks? Hold on. Just pull that one out of the way. Both come complete with the grass boxes. This one's in a little bit worse for wear. The paint's chipping off on this one. Right, shut your doors. And actually, he was, it was Lee, wasn't it? Oh, well, mate, Lee, yeah. Lee, in fact, he said he's a subscriber, he comes from my channel. Well, so, he went to his channel for my RS Turbo. Yeah, but I've done the painting on that, if you remember rightly. So I did all the work on that car from my channel, that's and that's the way it goes. All right, let's take these around the back. Yeah, they're all there, look. The old Qualcast um, Classic 35S. So they look complete. But uh, as I say, he did say that they will st they did start, but this one's in better condition than this one. Just where paint's chipping off, you know, on the deck there, as you can probably see. So we're getting round the back now. Go on in, off you go. Oh, yeah. Better if you pull it. All right, let's get these round there, folks. So here's another that uh, he picks up. Not so long back, as you say, you've got a Trojan 16 there with the old Briggs and Stratton on, and also this hater here. Bit of paint peeling on that deck there, but um, it's quite a big lawnmower, this one. Self drive as well, by the looks of it, so uh, we'll have to look into that one, but that's for another time, not for now. There we go, baby. He's brought another couple of hours to our house. Right. Our son. You see that hater? Gary said, can you do it up and sell it for him? He ain't got time. What's that, baby? Gary said, that hater, can you do it up for him and sell it? He said, because he ain't got time. I taught him all he knows, shall. And it, what's it? What's it now? Three? Four, over there. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's now nine. He's got nine. nine. He's got nine. nine over there. He just brought these two in, and, and there's two around the corner there no, as well. Well, he can start getting them done now. I don't think he's listening to you, shall. Well, he will do, because I've given Dad the hater already. She's going to be your hater. Yeah, she'll give it to you to work on, then I'll take the profit. Of course you will. I've got to check the oils. Yeah, let's get the older. Uh, oil out before we try to start any of these mowers folks because we never know what uh, people have done to them let's have a little look i say this one's probably the best of the two isn't it well i don't know is this a dunking or a screwing uh i'm not sure so we'll just dunk it then just dunk it first of all but it's, it's half in there it's halfway up the dipstick so whether it's a dunking or a screwing it's still of intolerance I'll check this oil while I'm here. Yeah, this one's got more paint peel on it, hasn't it? Come out of the way, Merlin, out of the way. Away. What's this one like? Just on the minimum. Just on the minimum, so it's going to have enough to start anyway, so we're pretty safe there. So coming over here, shall as we know, we just sold them over, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got this one up for sale now. This is that beautiful repainted deck that we've had done um powder coated deck on that one so that's ready to go see out of two i would have gone for that one yeah but that's uh people go within their budget don't they so uh, the other one's gone now the mountfield the black one and uh, i've got these two around here as well shall oh well, what are you playing at now these are mine baby I'm oh. shall i'm allowed to have them so we've got this little um is it a mcculloch or mcallister one of the two i'm not too sure and this one here this was one that um uh, I got, oh, a while, about 15 quid, I think I paid for it. But this one, when we went to pull start, it, it nearly ripped out of Gary's hand. So this will probably be a flywheel slightly out of alignment on that one. But uh, again, two good mowers. 
Just want a good clean up and a good service and probably a new flywheel key in that one. Hey, yeah. eh? what's going on, baby? He's got more mowers in there, Cheryl. Where's he got? Where's, where's he getting all these bleating mowers from, Sharon? What? This is your what? Your cylinder shed. Unbelievable. It's looking pretty spartan in here for a change. Well, it's not the it's the um it's the vintage shed. Yeah. <laughs> so what have we got here? These are you are these yours or mine? Uh, mine, look. Sop is branded it. Oh god, who's who's oh this is uh, what's, who's that who's that bloke? Some wally down the down by the coast. Down on the south coast. <laughs> yeah, he's got a few of them himself and I think. Yeah. I don't know if he knows what he's doing with them. So we've got uh, this um, little Suffolk. You've got an Atco there. Is that a bad moral? Yeah, it's a B14, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old one, isn't it? And you've also got that web lawnmower, which we've had in there for a good few years now. And uh, we did start doing some powder coating on that and bits and pieces up here, look, if I remember rightly. There we go, look. These are all powder coated. Well, I've done the powder coating on them, so uh, that's something he's got going. Come on, Merlin, out you come, mate. Well, I need a bit of petrol. Hey? Petrol. You, you'll borrow some of my petrol again, do you? This is good, if you ain't got WD-40. Yeah, they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. They're all the same, you can't beat carb cleaner. Well, just be careful on the rubber seals. <laughs> there we go. That's a, is that yours over there? That's your one over there as well, isn't it? You nicked the pit off it, didn't you? Yeah. Of course I did, I nicked the wheel brace off it, didn't I? So, here we go. Let's have a look at these then. You want some petrol? We've got some in the um, hot tub room over there. Are you going to try and just whack a bit in there, are you? They bone dry the tank, so... Oh, are they? I would imagine that the uh, carbs are going to need a, a service. Filter. Is there not a little uh, tickling thing on the bottom of that, that carb there? It's filtered bone dry. Is it? Thing. Well, I'll try to drop it in there anyway. I'll get a filter. Yeah, I'll don't spill it all over the blink patio, will you? Come on, Merlin, that way. Hold on, let's pull that off first, make sure it's uh, not got a crumbly air filter as well, because sometimes these are totally crumbly, aren't they? It's coming out in one part, so yeah, that's pretty much okay in there. Look, it's bloody clean, it's not done no work, look. What's that? Just fit. <laughs> well, I have to hold that then, won't I? I've got it. Don't go too mate. Anyway, it's going through to the fuel filter, I can see that, I'll just see it go in there. So you know you've definitely got fuel going into it anyway. Yeah, don't go too mad. Right, well, let's put that air filter back in for the moment. Is there a fuel tap? Hold on. Just put that back in there for the moment. Choke on. Right. So choke is on. Yep, let's just make sure it's working okay. Yep, that's on. Right, hold on. Let's just press the old tickler. Right. Down there, folks, you've got a little um, seal, uh, a little drain clock there to show that we've got fuel going to the carb. You just press that and it tickles out basically, so that's proven we've got fuel into the float bowl. So, whack it on choke. Oh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Take it off choke. All right, I didn't want to run off choke. Let's try it again. On. There we go, look at that. That was literally first pull, folks. The drive works. It's actually nice and quiet as well, isn't it? Right, make the uh, blade go around. Hold on. That's it, that's it. Yep, blade spin it. Try on low speed. Wow. Well, how about that? Bit, bit bobbly. Pretty quiet engine, though, isn't it? Well, how about that? First pull. First pull that, folks. It might have had some stale fuel in there, that's why we drained the uh, float bowl out first of all. But uh, 
that will probably be a good one to sort of just tight, take the carb off and just give it a clean anyway. Yeah. Just see what's in the float bowl. But um, right, well, that's one success story anyway. So here we go again. We've checked the oil. I just want to take this air filter out on this one. It looks like, as I said to you, that these have, look, that's done no work, look. Someone's done a bit of a restoration on these. So leave that as it is. Now, this one hasn't got a fuel filter on this one. So I haven't seen, someone's had the clip off of that as well, look. But we've got a little tickler under there. So if I just push that through, right, we're getting nothing come out at the moment. Oh, it's just starting to come through. Hold on. There we go, just starting to come through. Right, it feels like we're getting fresh fuel through there now, look. So you just, just pressing that, look. There's a little bit of rubbish in there. So this one may or may not start, but I'm happy that we've got fuel there now. We've got the governor on, which is working freely, which is okay. Again, the plug boot on this one is a bit cracked, and it could do with another rubber boot on that one. So, choke on, leave at full speed. Aha. Merlin, come away. Right, hold on for a minute. Right, before you go any further, we'll take that off. I know we've got fuel coming to the carb, but we'll put a bit of a carb spray just down the throat of the carburetor, just to see if we've, uh, we can induce it to start, because we don't know whether or not it might not have a spark, you see, because that plug cap looks a bit dodgy as well, but um, by shooting some uh, neat fuel into the inlet manifold there. If it fires straight away, then we know we've got a block carb issue. So I'll just take that choke off for the minute. And we've got some easy start here. We'd rather use this, because when you normally put blinking carb spray through an engine and trying to run it on that, these engine, uh, the carb spray has got no lubrication in it whatsoever. And as a result of that, you're actually stripping the bore of the oil. So try and use the proper gear, folks. Right, okay. I'll put the choke back on. Right, all we're looking for is to see if it fires. Right, okay, try that. There we go, we did fire. So, carb. it's a carb issue job on that one, which means that the main jet is probably blocked because um, it's not sucking any carb out from the float bowl. And we know we've got fuel in the float bowl because we've just tickled the carb and we're getting fuel coming out there. So that means the carb comes off on this one, but it did fire. Happy days, that's going to be all right as well. Although this one is slightly worse for wear cosmetically. As you can see, there's bits of rust on it around there. But again, the engine's nice and sweet. It pulls over nice and easy, doesn't it? So there you go. You'll get both of them running. I just want a little bit of work. See, this is the time of year, folks, where people get their lawnmowers out for the first time. Try to start them, and if nine times out of ten, they probably might not start because they've got stale fuel in them. But we were lucky with that one. But someone with this one, for example, might have persevered and pulled and pulled and pulled and said, oh, not going to bother with it, get a new one. So, I don't know what he said, he's got this hater, he's going to bring this hater around and that Trojan around the corner there we had a look at. So, again, we'll try and start them and the easiest way is just to spurt some easy start up the carb. If it fires, then you know that it's a carb issue, which is general maintenance work. All right, let's get these over here. That can go down. All right, so we've got the big hater. That's a large deck on that one, isn't it? Yeah. Given these off the same person, they moved in the house and they was in the garage. All right. So we'll go for the little Briggs and Stratton Classic 35 Trojan first, I think, folks. Well, we ain't tried this at all, you say? No, I literally got them out of the van and put them on the side. <laughs> well, it's got petrol in it, so it's priming through it. Right, let's give it a bit of a prime. Right, go on and try that. No, where's that screwdriver? Hold on. Again, might be a carb issue, this one, folks. So, just to save time, we could take the spark plug out and squirt some stuff down there, but... Uh, 
again this is the easy way to check hello look at that nice and clean as well look that's what i like to see so we are priming okay i can see fuel going into there it should have fired but we'll just squirt some uh easy start going and try that oh here we go Yeah, did you let that handle go? No, it died. Right, so it's probably died because the, the diaphragm in the carburetor is probably a bit crusted up sort of thing, so... Um, I didn't check that. Yeah, we should have checked the oil first, folks, before we started it, but uh, we'll have a look now. What? I don't know if that's overfilled or just where it's been tipped. Oh, right. <clears throat> What's your dirty or clean? That's pretty clean. Have a look. That's on the point. Oh, it's there, isn't it? That's all right. It looks all right as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So maybe <coughs> now it's actually fired. If we just give that a bit more of a prime, so we don't know whether this fuel's any good. It might be fuel we're pumping in there. It could even be bloody water, you know. Try it again. Right, hold on. Let's put a bit of squirt back in it. Go on in. Go on. There we go. It might go, it might go. Yeah, I think what you're going to do is just a carb service on that one, it's going to be alright. It's, it's probably picking up, oh, it's squirting fuel in there, we don't know what sort of condition that fuel's in, so we just put that back on there like that. I won't, it won't even tighten that down, let's have a look inside there. There might be water in there and loads of stuff, folks. 22 years old. Yeah, I can smell that, and there's no smell to that at all. Very, very poor, so it's, I would say that's a fuel issue. Probably put some fresh fuel in there, and that'll probably go, but we have to drain that tank out first. So there's another one. Right, now we've got this big hater. Again, we'll check the, fuel, the oil first. Looks like it's going to be okay, doesn't it? It's on the mark, isn't it, just about? Yeah, it's on the minimum, but there's enough to start it. And a massive hate of this one. Looks like a 21 inch deck, this one, doesn't it? Don't dry in there. Right, so, hold on. Yeah, you're going to try and put some fuel in there? Yeah. There's nothing in the primer bulb. <clears throat> so we'll just whack a bit of that in there. Right, that may be enough. Let's see if we... Right, it doesn't seem to be... You might want to drop more fuel in there because you only didn't put a lot in there, did you? It's not priming yet. Just whack a bit more in there because it's my fuel, you see. Well, that's why I didn't want to take the mic. <laughs> you have done so far. That'll do. Well, I don't think it's priming. I'm just trying to feel the pipe on the back if it's going to the car, boy. Right. It's gone somewhere. Well, we'll try it anyway. Give it a go. We've got the plug lead on. So we'll give that a go. Yeah, what's that? that's low, isn't it? Yeah. Has that been put down there for a reason? They're not normally down there, are they? It's unusual. Right, it's on fully choke. Try that. Uh, Unbelievable. Superb. What's this here? You've got the rotor clutch in it. Hey? Different speed for the drive. Oh, that's a different speed, is it? Oh yeah, look, one, two and three. So it's got speed control on it. You've got also a choke and fast and slow speed on that one. That works. Yeah. Height for justice will work all right. God, that's a massive mower, isn't it? 2003 hater. Again, it could do with a paint up. Although the deck is actually solid on it. Yeah. Just wants to tidy up, doesn't it? Try and start it again. Put it back on choke. That was a first time start virtually, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Look at 
How much they cost you them two? I got given them as well from the same person. The four mowers, all three. Four mowers, all three, how about that? That's gonna command a lot of money. That'll be about a 70 pound lawnmower over there. 60 to 70 pound lawnmower. Once it's done, it may be a bit less because it's the paintwork's not all that on it, is it? Yeah, it's a bit Come out of the way. Bit, Although the deck's solid, but yeah, you want to do something with that, don't you? Yeah. But that, that tidy up all right, even if it's a 50 pound mower. Just give it a slight rub down and a new coat of paint. Come out of the way, Dougal. Come on that way. Good boy. So there you go, folks. Little lawnmower video. So he's got these raw garrys over here, look. What are you doing now? Well, I was going to get this one out. I might put it up for sale. I can't remember. I wanted to paint the handles on it, I think. Oh, this is the one you put the two new wheels on it, wasn't it? New wheels and polish it up. Yeah. So as I say, it's, it's the season's just about to start, folks. So it's time you start digging out these mowers and start servicing them, getting them repaired and stuff like that. As I say, I've sold my first one already. All these have just got to be serviced and uh, maintained. Bit of paint here and there maybe, you know. What else you got here? Oh, I've got to get a belt for that. Oh, you've got a Honda Izzy over there, look. You've got the McCulloch. That's quite another big deck one as well, isn't it? Honda Izzy just wants to pull it and tidy up, doesn't it, I suppose? They always command good money. You've got a few more mount fields over here, look. Uh, three mount fields, although you want a cap on that one. Only about four and a half quid to get a cap for them, aren't they? That uh, Briggs and Stratton powered one just wants the casing painted on the um, on the recoil cover there. It's all rusty, but uh, again, that's just cosmetic. And even that one over there, that little one over there, that uh, I nicked the, the wheel adjuster on the front of that, didn't I? Yeah. But we're lucky; we've got loads of stock. Plus, we've got someone local who does loads of stocks as well, haven't we? They brake mowers, don't they? Yeah. Nice little hater spirit. Yeah, you want to get that one up? Just uh, that's ready to go, isn't it? Will it start? Oh, I can't remember. You should have some petrol in it. This was a little runner, wasn't it? Because this is the one you clean the deck up on, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it might have wanted a carb service. I think it was a hate. Um... Oh, right, okay. Oh, he's just hunting, isn't it? I just want a new carbon uh, gasket and diaphragm in a carb. Simple repair. And that'll be ready for sale, wouldn't it? A nice little one, little hater, that one, little plastic deck one. Do that today. Height adjustment on one uh, lever. So when you say you're going to do this one today, new diaphragm and gasket, yeah. have you got any diaphragm and gaskets? I have, yeah. Where are they? Well, in my cupboard. I've got some at home and I've got some in here. <laughs> You've got some in there? Yeah. You mean I've got some in there? No, we have. And we, and they're genuine Biggs and Stratton folks, don't never shortcut on the uh, gaskets and diaphragms for these little classic engines because next season, they'll be knackered again. So you get the decent ones, the proper ones from Briggs & Stratton, cost you about four and a half quid. That's the way to go when you're servicing these. And that way you won't get no one come back uh, six months later or eight months later saying, oh, it started hunting again. So just get the proper gaskets for these Briggs & Stratton classic engines. Right, so that's it then. Yeah. Well, just a little tinkering video today, folks. We've been pulling stuff out now. We've got loads of mowers. And don't forget, we started collecting these probably about October last year, wasn't it? So we're only at the end of January now, so uh, it ain't taken us long to amass quite a good selection of mowers there. And he's, got, he's lucky enough, he finds them for nothing. And oh, I, will, I will say thank you, Lee, for giving him free mowers, but you should have contacted me first. <laughs> well, he knows who's on YouTube. Of course you are. Anyway, we're going to go, folks. We're going to have our Sunday dinner today. And uh, no doubt you'll see this video a little bit later on as well. So thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.